Hello. Hello, welcome to another episode of This is Australia. You wouldn't believe where we are. Look above. Nothing. No, no, it wasn't the storm. <laughs> no, this is actually a demolition site. It's a house demolition. But what happened usually with the house demolitions, what they normally do is this. Yeah, basically they take one big excavator like that one you can see now on your screens. They pull everything down to bits and take everything to a landfill. And you know how much they're paying per ton? $300, $320 per ton. One big truck, for example, it could be $3,000. And this is what we're here for. Because we're going to introduce the new men versus machine segment. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so basically what we're saying is that instead of demolishing these buildings, these beautiful houses with these wonderful materials, with these big machines and take them to the tip, why don't we just employ people to dismantle and then try to sell the materials, save a lot of money on tip fees, and give a lot of these beautiful materials another life instead of going to the tip. So basically, we might have a winner here. I don't know who's going to be the winner at the end, but let's start now. <laughs> we already started, sorry. Now, what we've done here, we've already taken the roof off. Now, the, uh, the material that came out of the roof was magnificent. It was just beautiful hardwoods. And they're all going down to Metropolitan Demolitions. And they're going to be reused and recycled down there and available to make beautiful furniture like this one you can see now. This is made with the Metropolitan Timbers, with timbers like this one's unbelievable stuff. Look at that. Incredible. Now, we had a lot of other things in here. And we just gave them all away. Not all of them, some of them we sold, but some of them, look at this. These toys, for example. And we had this bed, and we had these wardrobes, and we had the doors, and we had these windows. And look at this decking. Someone actually paid good money for it. Like, you know, one dollar a meter, but you know what? Brian needs eight dollars a meter. And it's going to a house that they're using all recycled materials to actually build a brand new house. Can you believe that? So basically in here, we employed a lot of people to just dismantle this by hand to get all these materials out. I mean, look at these huge timbers that came out of the roof and that beautiful corrugated color burned and good insulation. And you know what? That insulation, you have to be very careful because it could be very dangerous. You have to wear protective clothes. So we can give a lot of work to a lot of people by dismantling and deconstructing these buildings, these houses. And your materials, they're not going to the tip. They have another life. And that's the amazing thing about this way of doing it. Instead of this machine like that, bang. Now, look at this one's here, because wheels big machines, they don't always work well. Look at this now on your screens. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? It's very easy to make a mistake with these big machines, but you never just make a mistake when you do it by hand. And look at that one. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that you have to be careful when you do the house like this, though, is this. And this is what they call asbestos. Now, asbestos is, could be very dangerous for you. But you can take out yourself up to 10 square meters of fiber 
asbestos without having a license. Over 10 square meters, you need a license. Now, if you decide to do it yourself, you need some protective gear like this one here, and then you need some special bugs to put it in, and it has to go to a special tip. It's an asbestos tip that it has to go. You can't just take it anywhere. So it's better if you leave it to an asbestos contractor and they can do it for you. With the bricks and the concrete, if they're not mixed up with the rest of the rubbish, they can go to our well-known tip down at uh, Metropolitan Demolitions and they can be turned into road base. And this is what we're doing here. We're going to have a look at this in the next episode because that's when all these bricks, they're going to be going down to Metropolitan. But let's have a quick break and we'll be back straight after this.